Hi, I'm Carolyn Harvey, a baby sleep expert and the founder of Dream Baby Sleep. Myself and my entire team have helped thousands of families worldwide take control of sleep in their homes. As I'm sure you know, the Mamaru Sleep Bassinet can work like a dream to help your baby fall asleep and stay asleep longer. But now that your baby is getting older, you want to start thinking about transitioning to the crib. I've worked with four moms to create a simple six-step transition guide. Let's get started. First, start transitioning your baby off of the bassinet's motion settings for night sleep. Thanks to rising levels of melatonin in the evening, your baby's drive for sleep at bedtime is greater than it is during the day for naps. Start with bedtime and then move on to naps. If your baby prefers a higher speed, gradually reduce it when the motion is on. Lower the speed until it's at its lowest setting or until your baby can fall asleep with it completely off. Next, after your baby's bedtime routine, place her to sleep in the bassinet without the motion or vibration, but continue to use her favorite white noise. If your baby doesn't fall asleep in the first few minutes, turn on her preferred motion or vibration setting. As she begins to settle, turn those features off and give her the opportunity to fall asleep without them. If your little one wakes up at night, try other soothing techniques without turning on the bassinet's motion. Gently pat her tummy, use a shushing sound, or try feeding her. If she doesn't fall back to sleep, turn on your baby's preferred settings. When she's almost asleep, turn them completely off. Once your baby has adjusted to sleeping in the bassinet without motion or vibration for a few nights, repeat the process for daytime naps. Lastly, at bedtime, place your baby to sleep in her crib. If she wakes during the night, try getting her back to sleep using the soothing techniques such as patting, shushing, or feeding. If she won't fall back to sleep in the crib, transfer her to the Mamaru sleep bassinet without using any of the motions. Once she's sleeping well at night, repeat the process for naps until all of her sleep occurs in the crib. Every baby is different. The key is to be consistent with this transition and don't let the process feel overwhelming. You've got this. Your baby will be sleeping soundly in her crib in no time.